tires and take a look at the Jack Wolf skin Yellowstone 2 vent tent without the rain fly. And we have all the vents closed at this time. So you can see what it looks like with all the vents closed. And here's a look at the Jack Wolfskin Yellowstone 2 vent tent with the vents all open. At this point, this is where you put the ridge line pole at. It goes on the outside of the rain fly. Put it through the sleeve. Set it in the grommet here. another grommet. Now we can finish. Here's the Jack Wolf skin Yellowstone 2 vent tent. This is an all season, four season, with the rain fly on. You have uh, lots of guy out points. I don't have the rain fly quite square with the frame. You can see the poles going right here. I kind of got in a hurry <clears throat> setting it up, so just for visual purposes in the backyard here. So if I was out camping somewhere, I would uh, obviously adjust that better. All right, let's take a full look around here. The rain fly on all the guy out points. So you get plenty of stakes. So I've got every guy out point, every place that you can stake out, staked out. And then I have two stakes left. I'll have to count them here in a minute and see how many stakes we really have. So part of the vestibule, you can see there's uh, vents and then over the body itself, there's a vent on this side and that side. So these little stakeout points here to increase ventilation. You do have the adjuster tensioner. So I'm gonna tension that up a little bit more as your tent starts flexing out. Tension everything down. So the cool thing about these vents this jack wolf skin push and bar down and it velcros closed also it zips closed added protection from wind and rain so that is pretty nice
let's open up some vestibule doors and take a look. Now here's the Jack Wolfskin Yellowstone 2 vent tent. There's uh, several options on the vestibule door. Here's one option. Then we'll take a look at the other side. And, so basically there's three sections to this vestibule door. This one, the centerpiece, and then this last piece over here. So this side we just have the one. The other side we have two of them opened up. And now let's take a look at it with all three opened. Okay, so here it is with the vestibule completely opened. And you can still tell that you get some overhang protection from maybe a light rain with this ridge pole. It extends the vestibule height ceiling out over the tent. So that makes it pretty nice. So we have a huge vestibule in this tent. And it's the same size on both sides. There's a good size vestibule here. Right there is about 40 inches. About 42 inches there. And here it is with the vestibule closed. So there's that uh, vent. I do feel quite a bit of air coming out of it. Or coming through it. So that vent is on the vestibule itself. So, let's go look here. So this is our main door here. And you can, <clears throat> if you need to, you have a lot of winds or something, you can take this little bungee, bungee loop here and you can stake it down with the extra two stakes that you have left over. And you can do that for both sides. Lots of room. Lots of room. So size 12 shoe. You got all that area. And the best thing is you have it all on the other side too. All right, inside the Jack Wolf skin Yellowstone 2 vent tent, we have the vents open. So here's the, just tucks in on itself there. And then door panels, tuck in the little side pockets. You have another pocket there, another pocket for the door, another pocket there. We do have some multiple little webbing loops here. And you have one here at the top in the center for your lantern. So there. So two, four, eight, nine. So if you need to hang a dry line or something for your clothes or whatever. Let's take a look around here. So you got all the vestibules closed up. All right, so I am pretty close to the center. There's the center over here. Where am I at? So we've got plenty of uh, sit up space in here. So, get to the center here. Okay. You got a good foot or so there. All right, let's lay down. So my head there, my feet there. So with the vestibule closed all the way, I am getting a slight breeze from underneath there and the vents there. And I have the vents up on top open as well. All right, a little bit darker now. We are inside with all the vents closed or zipped up, I should say. 
I'll show you what we got here. So there. So this tent is all about versatility. You can zip it up and down as much as you want to increase ventilation. Obviously for maximum ventilation, you just open all the vents. So here's a back behind me. So you can do that. Okay, so we can uh, close and raise these vents up as much as we need to. So let's just uh, zip it all away. Nice, right, so we're completely zipped up in here. Uh, let's get some measurements here on the inside. Whip. We are at 56 inches wide, 84 inches long. So we are at 44 and a half inches it's right there call it 44 20 22 inches by seven and a half. 